So this week I don't have a huge amount to show you. I have a little bit though. I've got a couple of nice die-cast cars. I've got plenty Star Wars stuff. And I've got a sizeable delivery this week. <laughs> Now last week, if you remember, at the end of the episode, I said I had a load of Star Wars stuff brought in by someone and I was to go through it and make an offer and possibly get it off them. Well, they accepted the offer after I'd looked through it and I did get all of that stuff. Sadly, there was one box that when I was helping him carry them to the car, it was a very, very windy day, and the box on top blew off. As I tried to catch that box, I naturally dropped the one that I was holding on to. Yeah. That was a box of built LEGO Star Wars models. See where I'm going with this, don't you? And this is the result of dropping that box. Yeah, there's this tank here, which is a little bit dusty, I have to say. Needs a clean up. But yeah, I'm really not looking forward to going through this now. Oh me. Oh my. Let's have a look and see what might be in here. Though. Right, well that's that thing we just um, saw covered in dust. Anakin Starfighter. Troop transport for the droids. Hoth Tauntaun and some troops. Looks like there's a few of those little battle packs, doesn't it? That's the speeder bike with assassin droids. I believe that's Commander Colt. A couple of um, Commando droids there as well. A little wheel thing. Well, not wheel thing, but tracks thing. Droid bomber. Hyena. No, anymore, anymore, anymore. Oh, there are, there's the little Mandalorians pack. There. Back bike with corn troopers. More hot there. Same one. Here. That's fine, that's fine. That's a couple more here, all small ones by the look of it. Got a little mini walker there with clones. I remember stocking these when they actually were on the shelves. Revenge of the Sith set there. Shock Trooper, Clone Trooper, and... Well, they're the Star Corps Troopers, I think. I remember stocking that as well. Wow. So yeah, that's going to be... It ain't going to be fun at all, is it? Ugh. But it wasn't all a disaster. There were some other cool stuff in there as well. There was some... The usual crappy bits which they've been put out on the bargain table outside this week I've sold a few bits and bobs like a Star Wars mug a couple of board games this that and the other um, but there were some Star Wars action figures the three and three quarter inch ones 
Let's have a look at those ones. And there's this pretty neat bunch of Clone Wars era figures. We've got a couple of Captain Rexes. Both of them can take the helmets off. We've got a couple of... Are they Lieutenants? The yellow Clone Troopers? Three plain white ones. Is that a stealth version of the Super Battle Droid? I'm not sure. And I always forget the name of this ugly mug. General Grievous. A couple of Darth Vaders there. One's a fairly standard one. The other one is the Emperor's Wrath Darth Vader with the... I don't know if the helmet's glow in the dark. Uh, the, sorry, the skull. But you can kind of see it through the helmet. Death Star Trooper. Imperial Gunner. Biker Scout. Boba Fett. Silver R2 from the Saga Anniversary Pack. R5J2, I think that is. Testing my knowledge here. I think that's the one. Uh, Revenge of the Sith, Obi-Wan and Anakin stroke Darth Vader because he's got those evil, evil Sith eyes. And amongst all this Star Wars stuff, there was also this pretty nice Attack on Hoth box set. And there we have it. As you can see, it does come with the figures. We've got both of the snow troopers, both of which come with their blasters, and one of them comes with the E-Web cannon, complete with missile. We've got the alternate gun here, which comes with both of the missiles in it, and the normal gun is in there. Inside the cockpit there, we do have the AT-80 AT driver, He's also complete with his blaster, helmet and goggles. Sadly though, we are missing the, the weapon on this side of the walker's head. Which makes it look a little odd when you look at it face on. It's a shame because other than that it's absolutely 100% complete. So what does that make it then? 95? 99% complete? It's there or thereabouts, isn't it? But the nicest piece of the entire lot has to be this vintage collection Y-Wing Fighter. Now, this rather handsome version of the Y-Wing Fighter does come 100% complete. It has all eight of the struts or pylons. There's the two engines at the back there comes with the bomb canopy is also a removable part and even comes with the instructions and the box does indeed have the insert it's a nice one is that we like it I mean with this Star Wars job lot there's also an Imperial blaster what is it an E11 yeah it's yellowed very heavily though, but it still works. Probably good for someone who's wanting one to customise for cosplay. And the last Star Wars item worth showing you from that job lot is this clone gunship. Now again, this is another one of those that's not quite a hundred percent complete. It does have the two missiles in there for the big guns. It has the ever elusive gun from the back. Let's get it into focus there, can we? There we are. However, it is bent, so I will have to put that in a little bit of hot water to straighten it up. It's got both of the grappling cables there, as you can see. It does have both of the doors. Which open. And the mechanism works quite well. It's got, you can just about see, there. It's got the two bombs on that side. And it's got the two bombs on that side. It's got four bombs from there, and at the other end, it's got those four too. 
it's got the trap door that releases the speeder bike if you choose to put a speeder bike in it but sadly it's missing one of those guns those missile type things from the front such a shame such a shame otherwise very nice condition needs a bit of a clean up but it's there there's two clone pilots in there too isn't there well, we've got a proper pilot often you just find normal clone troopers stuck in there i can't get it right Oh, he's stuck in there <laughs> and we've got a shock trooper as well it's in a shoulder pad by the end of it always been a favorite ship of mine is this one especially from the the prequels I do quite like um a clone gunship i think i still prefer the first one we see though in attack of the clones that color scheme rather than the tiger shark one from oh i like that let's do that again Spinning's a good trick! I used to do that, didn't I? <laughs> and the last thing amongst this Star Wars lot was not Star Wars. It was Halo. Halo Wars, I think it is. It's the Mega Blocks stuff. And this is it. Uh, it looks like these are a little bit more organised than the Lego ones. We've got a bag full of minifigures there. It looks like Spartans and Elite. Um, is that there? What's that? Those gorilla guys. What were they called now? Oh my word. I've had a brain fart. Um, Tartarus was the leader of them. What were they called? Brutes? Were they, were, they, were they called Brutes? I want to say Brute. I'm not sure. Were they Brutes? I think they were Brutes. Master Chief there, a couple of them. Move that aside. Uh, we've got something, Covenant there. Looks like a Banshee or a Ghost by the look of it. I think it's a Banshee, isn't it? Um, that just looks like random bricks. And so does it. And then we've got bits and bobs in there. As you can see, some cool minifigures by the look. Oh, is that a hunter? Oh, it is. Look, it's a hunter. Oh, fantastic. I'll probably have fun with that's out of the Star Wars Lego box. And that's part of it. And that's part of it. Oh, this is going to be good fun. So, yeah, there's some, um, some cool minifigures. And, like I say, a couple of vehicles there in fact it looks like we've got that set and it looks like we've got that set now I know someone will probably have these off me straight away so if you want these you better get at them quick Now, outside of that big job lot that I took in, I've hardly bought up this week, which is a good thing, because I'm I'm massively behind with sorting things out. I'm sure you can imagine the amount of stuff that's come in recently. I am hugely behind, so I need to do a lot of catching up. Uh, the, the only other thing that I can think of, worth telling you at least, that came in this week were a couple of 118 scale diecast cars. There's this, what is it, a 1971 Buick GSX and also by Auto World, a 19 Chevy, a 19 Chevy, a 19 Chevy, a 1970 Chevy Camaro, Z28 or Z28, I suppose it has to be, doesn't it? These models really are a thing of beauty. Now these are not sealed in the box, they have been out on display, although I have to say, I didn't have any dusting to do on them, so I don't think they've been out on display very long at all. This one's unusual for me, I've not seen one in one of these kind of boxes where you lift the lid off like that. Normally they come in these window boxes, so that one's new on me. By, by Auto World, anyway. I've had similar boxes for other models, other brands. There we go. But I'm 
I'm sure you'd rather have a close-up look at the models, wouldn't you? Also, I dug this little thing out. It's been hiding behind the counter over there for so long I couldn't possibly tell you. I think it's the fourth Doctor's sonic screwdriver with that red ring on top. I'm fairly sure it is. And new batteries in it. And it works. Very cool. And I forgot to film the little link for this, so I'm doing it at home in my PJs. Oh well. Anyway, someone else brought me some Star Wars stuff in, and it was the Star Wars Micro Galaxy Squadrons. See what you think. So here we've got Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. This is the first time I've seen them in hand, out of the packet, and being able to actually feel them and hold them and everything and I've got to be honest I think I much prefer the old action fleet I, I, I really do they're just ever so slightly larger than this I know they weren't all to scale like these are but there we are uh, it comes with Darth Vader which you have to take the cape off to be able to put him inside because he needs to sit down and the cape doesn't doesn't fold we've got um what's her name Bo-Katan Kreese, that's it. We've got a fighter. Is it a Corsair ship? I think it's called. And she is indeed in there. And just about see her there. I mean, the nice, well-detailed models for definite. Got Luke's X-Wing. That comes with a little R2-D2 and Luke inside there. We've got a Trade Federation, what is it, an AAT tank? Armored Assault Transport, I think that, mean, that stands for. And that does come with a battle droid. Does it come with two? I can't remember now. It should come with two, really, because there's a space for one there. And then, let's turn that out of the way so I can get to this. There's one there, you have to blue tack him in. A bit of blue tack under his bum to hold him in place, otherwise he just falls all over the place. And we've got Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter with the hyperspace ring. Uh, that comes with, what is it, R4P17, I think. And obviously, Obi-Wan Kenobi in there too. Now there's the chase version of this, which is quite a cool one to get hold of, which is Ahsoka's. 
And that comes with her droid. And she's sat in the cockpit too. So that was quite hard to find, is that? And then we've got this tiny, tiny, tiny little snow speeder. And that does indeed come with a pilot and a gunner. Sat back to back there. Cool. Very cool. Now there's also these which I've got to say I'm really disappointed with. Now they actually look better on camera here. Well, at least they do when I get them in focus. But these ones are the little blind box ones at £5 each in the supermarkets. And I've got to be honest, I think a fiver and you don't even know what you're going to get, so you're likely to get duplicates of these. I think that this that's robbery at that kind of money. They literally are just micro machines. So yeah, that's that's all those that came in. We've got some big boxes this week. And so on this week's delivery, starting with the comics, we got Detective Comics, Harley Quinn, the normal cover, the variant cover, the mm, Christmas card variant cover. Not too sure what to make of this one. Lovely artwork there. Not sure about it being a Christmas card that you cut out. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Marvel Zombies, issue two. There's a new crossover thing happening on Marvel called Gang War. We've got Spider-Woman there. Miles Morales Spider-Man. Amazing Spider-Man. Luke Cage. We've got Predator vs. Wolverine, issue three. Get all of them. There we go. King Kong, The Great War, issue four from Dynamite. And Alice Never After, issue 5 from Boom. I think that's the last issue of that now. Berserker, this is one of the Keanu Reeves comics. Fallen Empire, we've got both of the foil variants. Resident Evil, Infinite Darkness, the beginning, issue 4. Now I don't remember issue 3 coming. Graphic novels there, we've got the... Volume 1 of the Daniel Way Deadpool Omnibus. Yeah, one of those great big thick hardcover ones. We've got a manga there. Betwixt, it's called. I did think this was Junji Ito. Looks like Junji Ito. It's not though, it's some other horror authors. Interesting stuff. Judge Dread Complete Case Files, Volume 41. No idea why I have this. Skyward Volume 3. I've never even heard of it. My Hero Academia. Volume 35. And a couple of Spy Family. Volume 10. Okay, so moving on to the toys. We've got some Star Wars Black Series in the form of the Rebels reissue of Chopper. We've got Ezra Bridger, as seen as a hologram, briefly, in Ahsoka. From the Vintage Collection, we've got the HK-47, 87 even, Assassin Droid. General Hera Syndulla. And everyone's favourite little murder bot, Chopper. Gotta say, I am loving this one. Move them aside to make room for a very lonely Funko Pop. Don't know why I've only got one of these, because I'm sure I ordered more. But Santa Jack. Like them Christmas lights. Got a few packs of these Game Boy Classic coasters. Featuring Legend of Zelda, Donkey Kong, Mario Land 1 and 2. And 
and we got some pretty cool, I think they're pretty cool, squid game figures. Got the worker, we got the soldier, and we got an upside down manager. They're nice. And we got another Ultraman figure. Ultraman Agul? Eagle? I don't know. But we got that. But last but not least, we got a restock of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Me first, statue. Isn't she cute? When you just know that you've already recorded this particular segment, but when you come to do the video editing and it's just not there. I obviously forgot to hit record. Anyway, that's about all I've got to show you for this particular episode of the stock that's come in. So why don't I queue up a bit of a video montage of some of the sexy stock that I've got in the cabinets and on the shelves.
And with that, I'd like to say thank you very much for tuning in once again this week to see what's new at Cosmic Toys. Remember, if you haven't already, to subscribe, like the video if you can, and ring that ding to be notified of future content. And also bear in mind that I do have that giveaway going for the Doctor Who DVD that's signed by Tom Baker. Legopolis. Yeah, we're very nearly there. We're very nearly, we're very near that 500 subscriber number. So hopefully we can give that away within the next couple of weeks. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll catch you again next time. See you later. Bye!